Well, we haven't recorded for probably about a couple of days now, simply because my brother was in town. So I was more preoccupied with hanging out with my brother while he was here. And then I also got sick uh, just because we did go so hard together. Um, but now today, Logan wants to go and get drone footage. I'm a little nervous, but we'll see how it goes. We're about to launch uh, to try to get a video of the Lisbon Cathedral. So, first flight, first flight was a success. Um, a little nerve wracking, but we got it done in, I want to say, like 30 seconds or less. Um, so now we're gonna go try and get the main square here. A um, little nervous about that one because there's definitely a lot more people. So we're a little worried because there are cops right behind us uh, that would see us fly it. So we're debating if we should just ask them or if we should just fly it. Abby says fly it. <laughs> I say ask. Let's see. I say it's better to ask forgiveness, so. Okay, so we decided just to get a video of the arch. We're not gonna get a video of the statue because uh, the cops are on the other side of the statue. So we're just gonna get it right here. So hopefully we're a little bit blocked. discoveries it looks like we could fly from across the street it's a park um, so we're gonna go try to take it out around we're hoping we don't lose signal because if we do there's literally no way of getting it back we are on a road with a fence um, and we have to try to find a bridge to cross over and get it <laughs> I'm hoping that this light goes as planned I can't wait to see this beautiful footage because it is by the river after this though we are gonna go get some food because we're both starving it is about noon and we still haven't eaten yet. <laughs> shot of the day uh, everything's been a success so far this is the Belem tower we are again across the street from it um, you can't really see it beyond the trees so we hope this drone does a great job and comes home to us We're gonna try uh, the this what is it called? Pace Pastel de Belém, and it's been here since like 1837. I've been wanting to try it for a while now, and we just got here and there's absolutely no line, so we just hopped off the tram and decided to cross over and go get it. So this morning we woke up, went to our favorite cafe, and now we are on the way to go pick up my stepmom from the airport. 
We just got to the museum. Um, I got myself a Lisboa card because Susie has a Lisboa card. Gets you on all the trams, gets you on the, not the metro, but it does get you on uh, the trains also. I think metro's free. Oh, yeah. it does get you on the metro. Yeah, all transport. Okay. Um, and it also gets you into a lot of museums, if not free, then like at a 20 to 25% discount. Um, Susie just landed, so now we just have to wait for her to come through. <laughs> They have the Lisboa card, so they got to walk right in. I do not have the Lisboa card because I didn't expect to be off of work today, but they directed me next door to the ticket office. We'll see how long the line is. Hopefully not too bad. All right, so no line at all. Walked right up to the uh, ticket booth. There's, I guess not a booth, ticket machine. There's three of them. Yeah, nobody in line or anything like that. Walked right up to it. It's 1 p.m. on a Friday, so pretty surprised. It's not that busy. Maybe everybody has their tickets already. of it were so kind. The chef came out and shook your hand. It seemed like it was two twin brothers. They were both from Brazil and one of them had taken extensive courses in cooking. They had amazing food uh, for meat eaters, vegetarians, vegans, anyone with any dietary restrictions they will accommodate for. I highly recommend. I'm gonna put their Airbnb experience down below in the description. It is, I highly recommend if you come to Lisbon. So this morning we decided to come check out the flea market here in Lisbon and it is massive. That was literally the biggest flea market I have ever seen. It would not stop. It just kept going. Kept 
going. We are about to grab an Uber now with Susie and we're going to go grab some lunch at one of our favorite restaurants, Plant Based here. Go to the lookout of the elevator and then we have a Tuk Tuk tour that we scheduled last night from a guy that we met here earlier and he's gonna take us to like, what, nine locations? Yeah, nine locations. I think it's two hours and we scheduled it at four so hopefully we catch sunset as well. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Logan booked us a Tuk Tuk tour in a special type of car. Uh, it's going to take us to, I think, nine different spots, a couple that we haven't been to. Um, Susie's going to go with us. Yay! Look at it! <laughs> <laughs> to go to this town called Centra. Um, it has, I guess, a beautiful, colorful palace, um, a beautiful gardens that we're gonna go to today. Um, so I think it's about like a 50 to an hour train ride from Lisbon to Centra. Um, so we're about to go make that trek today and see what it has to offer. 